Hi guys, it's Rick. Um, hope you're all okay. Um, I just very quickly thought I'd put this video together because um, I've actually I've actually been meaning to do it for for a couple of days now, um, uh, maybe even longer actually, two two three days, and, and just not quite managed to to, to you know um, to do it to to prioritise it for the time and etc etc. Um, I get asked loads of questions as i'm sure many of you do on like your inboxes and, and stuff like that and it's just not always possible to answer um to answer all of them but there was there was one the other day that i thought i'd try and answer um because it's an area that I, i'm passionate about an area that i've studied and i was asked about um power power exercises power development for for boxes and and what exercises that you um that you would sort of you know use prescribe call it what you want to try and get boxer to punch harder um and this is an area that i'm you know quite interested in i've been interested in for a long time studied it in great detail um i studied the neural uh, neuromuscular characteristics of pro boxers I, I tested about 50 professional boxers uh, over a period of a couple of years uh, many of which i knew some of which i didn't some who were known as punchers, some who, who weren't known as punchers, um, and tried to sort of figure out the answer, um, you know, to this to this sort of question of, of you know, is punch power natural or, or or is it is it something we can improve? Um, and I think the answer <laughs> the answer is it. I think I think it is it is natural. You know. Um, some pro boxers are are just natural natural punches and and i think that is, is down to technique it's pure and simple it is it's down to technique um so to answer the question you know how do you get a boxer to punch harder um they need to, they need to be coached to be better they need to be coached by somebody who knows what they're doing you know they, they need to improve their punching technique um and and you know and and then even even still you know they can be a top class boxer and and but just not not a natural you know not a natural puncher uh, and that's just sort of sort of the way it goes you know as as I say some technique changes will improve them and will get them to hit uh, harder than perhaps that they, they they might do but you know compared to somebody else of, of equal height equal weight um, we, we, you know we just don't know we just we just don't know why why they hit harder. Now I looked at different testing mechanisms as well uh, when I was doing my studying and in particular these sort of target based ones where you punch a target and so forth like that, they weren't particularly uh, you know, reliable. So in, in terms of what that means for the S&C, I think we, we've got to, or, you know, the, the strength trainer calls what you want, you, you've got to work on, on what you can work on. So in terms of our, our testing and whatnot like that, our conclusions, as I've said, were that you know, box, boxing is technique based, punching is technique based. Obviously, um, there'll always be some people that can punch harder naturally than than others. There's always people, there's some people that have got, uh, excuse me, nat naturally better technique than others, or better timing than others, or you know, know when to when to throw the what's deemed as the power shot and when and when not. But in terms of us as as you know s and c coaches where does where does that leave us and where does that leave our role as as i said a minute ago um what we can do is is imp you know it let's assume that we we're working with a boxer and that that boxer male or female can box and, and can punch um obviously they, they can all punch but you know what i mean um we it's where we can improve them okay what improvements can can we make now there was some early early research into this. Um, I think it was uh, what was it called? Filimonov, I think it was in 1985. And Filimonov stated that about 24% of, of punch power came from the arms, and that, that roughly the rest, about 37 and a half percent, and then 38 and a half percent. I think 37 and a half percent was trunk, 38 and a half percent was legs. That was early research. So you know, we we what we have to do as coaches is is prescribe exercises uh, and, con and work on and control what we can. As I say, if somebody can't punch, they can't punch. If you've got no technique, there's nothing we can do about that. But what we've got to do as as S and Cs and strength coaches 
is, is in my opinion, we've got to start from the ground up. We've got to prescribe exercises that, that strengthen the feet, the feet in particular. Um, you know, boxing, skipping, or old school boxing training, a lot of running, uh, tends to tends to cause a little bit of damage to the feet, to the plantar fascia, to the Achilles, whatnot like that. Uh, you tend to notice with a lot of them that they're quite sort of stiff um, and tight in the in the sort of posterior chain. So that's usually where I start. I, I'll I'll tend to get uh, I'll take I'll tend to take a look at the way they move. Can I improve their Can I improve their movement? Can I improve their mobility? Uh, you know, from the feet upwards. And then, you know, it, it's quite simple really. It's what the science sort of dictates. What I'm then looking at doing is I'm prescribing exercises that uh, in order to improve power, I need to improve the rate of force development, yeah? I need to improve the ground reaction forces, so the ability to produce force from the ground up, and the rate of force development. Now, in order to, if I take a step back from that, in order to improve rate of force development, I need to get them stronger. Um, a lot of the boxers, I nearly said most, but a lot of the boxers that I saw weren't particularly strong. Uh, a lot of them were stiff. So, you know, that's where my role as an s &C, um goes. I, I, in order to improve their power, I improve their strength. Uh, I improve their strength in, in a way that is, is not gonna, uh, where possible, increase their weight or slow them down because they're those those big fears that people uh, boxers and, and some of their coaches have um and uh, yeah i keep them i keep them mobile you know and then the default of those two things is that uh, you know hopefully i'm also improving uh, their ability to withstand the boxing training i.e I'm, I'm improving their ability to hopefully not get injured now injuries happen that's a, that's a fact of life but that's my remit I see all kinds of um, you know uh, people that are working in with combat athletes in particular now in different sports as well, but combat athletes in particular, and I see them doing all kinds of fancy exercises, all kinds of crazy exercises, you know that are supposedly going to improve punch power, um, and you know what I'm here to say today is most of them won't, you know most of them won't. What I do with my boxes. Um, and this we've studied extensively at the, at the University of Salford where, where I do all my study is as I say we work on their ability to move their ability to be stable through their through their legs through their single leg through their core and then we get them stronger and then and only then do we look at rate of force development and exercises you know such as med balls and whatnot like that and throws and so forth that, um, that improve rate of force development um, we also focus and uh, you know obviously looking at things like sling systems as well but again only when the timing is right um, there's more recent research there's a lot of research coming out of the University of Salford there's a lot of research coming out from uh, I think Dr Alan Ruddock at Sheffield um, but again you know if, if you read that research in terms of the demands uh, of, of a boxer it will it will state those things you know Dr Alan Ruddock talks about rate of force development in order to do that you need to improve strength yeah so i think for me how we improve the power of a boxer is we we make sure that they're, that they're working on their boxing technique we make sure they're working with a good boxing trainer and those as s and c's what we're trying to do is keep them fit keep them strong keep them mobile and support the boxing training with those kind of exercises um you know the simpler the better uh, i see i saw many you know boxing uh, excuse me boxing uh, athletes who were doing all kinds of crazy exercises yet couldn't stand on one leg so I hope that answers the question um, that's how I'd improve power I would work from the ground up I would do the basics first and I would make sure my boxer was good at boxing uh, if they're no good at boxing if they're no good technically no matter what exercises you do you're never gonna make them uh, punch any harder Okay, that's it. I hope that answers your question. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. See you later.